Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews and this is the part 5 of the top 10 city tweaks compatible with iOS 10 up to iOS 10.2. A lot more videos are coming so make sure you subscribe and not miss any of them. So let's get started. Flip Control Center. This is a must-have tweak for all iOS 10 users. So you can see here on the Control Center it will add more switches. You can see here you won't have just the stock iOS switches but you can have some very useful ones and you can also customize them so you can rearrange them or you can enable or disable any of them. To do that you will need to go to the settings of this tweak so you go here to active switches and here you can rearrange them or you can disable any of them or you can enable other ones like you can see them right here. So if we go back then you have the bottom shelf. Also here you can enable and disable the icons here at the bottom of the control center so you can add more or you can rearrange them or remove any of them. To install flip control center you will need to add a repo which you will find in the description. Grass Shropper. This tweak adds the picture in picture feature to your iOS 10 device. So when you're watching a video here on Safari you can see I can just tap that button and it will detach the video now. I can move to my home screen and I will have the video here. I can also resize it. I can move it anywhere on the screen and if you tap on it you will have the buttons right here. So you have the pause button. You have a button to go back to the website where you were watching the video and also an X button right here if you want to close the video. To install this tweak you will need to add a repo which of course you will find in the description. Peekaboo! This tweak will enable the peek and pop feature on older devices. So into a picture you can peek like this, you can swipe up to show the menu or you can swipe down to close the picture or you can just peek and pop like this. So let's jump to the settings of this tweak. What we have here is an enable button, then you can enable haptic feedback on peek and pop and also you can enable it for the messages app. Last app. This is a pretty cool tweak which allows you to switch between your two recently used apps by using an activator gesture. So I'm on the settings right here and previously I was on the notes app. If I use the activator gesture, double tap on the status bar, you can see it will send me to notes. Double tap again, it will take me back to the settings. So after you install this tweak, what you need to do is go to activator and pick a gesture to invoke this tweak. Reach all. This is a simple tweak. What it does is that it will enable the reachability view on older devices that don't have on basically on smaller devices that don't have the reachability feature. It will enable it on all devices. So you just have an enable button right here and you can also set an activation method if your device doesn't have a touch ID. Pushability. This is the opposite of reachability. So what it does is that it will push the screen up. So if you're using your device like this and you don't want to reach for the corner here, you can just double tap and it will push up the screen of your device. So it's pretty cool. It doesn't have any options to configure, just an enable button here to enable or disable it. Socializer. This tweak will enable the full screen mode for social apps. So when you go to the settings of this tweak, you have a list of the apps right here and you can enable full screen mode for any of these apps and you can also enable custom keyboards. You just go to keyboards and you will have the switches right here. So for the app store, I, ha I have enabled the black keyboard and also the full screen mode. So when I open the app store, you can see it will remove the status bar. So it will be on full screen. And when I go to the keyboard, you can see the keyboard will be black. Square switcher. This is a simple one and it's for the app switcher. What it does is that it will make the app cards square. Normally they have rounded corners but with this tweak they will be square. Status bar volume. This tweak will replace the volume hood of your device with a bar on the status bar of your device so you can see right here. Now Instagram has a bar like this when you switch up or down the volume of your device so now it will replace the stock volume hood of iOS and you will have it anywhere on your device. Swipe selection allows you to easily move the cursor anywhere on the text simply by swiping on the keyboard. You can also select the text simply by swiping from the shift key like this or from the delete key on the opposite side. Now this feature has been added by Apple to devices with 3D touch but on older devices you can enable it using swipe selection. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. For more videos like this make sure you subscribe. Also don't forget to follow me on my social media. You will find all the links in the description of the video.